Yeah. And I love that you said start with high poly. Um, Cause yeah, if, if you start with a high poly asset, the, you can create anything you want from it. Um, and, and yeah, it needs to be optimized. Um, but again, that's where we can help or other, there's other platforms out there that, that, yeah. you know, uh, could do it, but you know, we've built an automated solution. So it's, it's, I, I hate it when we get low poly assets cause it's like, it cuts you off of all the things that you could do with it. Um, cause you basically every medium, whether it's your e-com site, whether it's Facebook, Snapchat, et cetera, like they all have their different 3d model requirements. But if you start mm -hmm. with the biggest, you can just make sure you have the highest res image on each platform that each platform will accept, you know? Um, well, yeah. Plus I, I really believe that what is required for real time now will, will, I mean, potentially, uh, they'll, they'll come a day when high poly can be used real time. I mm -hmm. mean, and, and then you, you would have cut yourself off the knees competitive competition wise, your stuff all of a sudden will look really low res comparatively. I'm sure smart people like yourself are working on things like that. Uh, the better it looks, the better. And, but then, you know, then we have certain experiences uh, like next gen immersive. I don't like use the metaverse word, but next word immersive where, uh, those type of files have their own life and their own needs. Mm -hmm. And you can get ahead of yourself a little bit. But I just say, if you're starting, don't worry about starting small. It, it doesn't matter. You can have five models and, and experiment with what you want to do. I don't know what everyone's content looks like in the end. But with us, uh, you know, it was, it was a better place to start with making virtual photography and Hey Needle and Art.com and some other small they didn't have a studio anymore to rely on they had to rely on this technology which is cheating a little bit you know yeah. <laughs> like oh yeah i just do street but but it helped show the rest of the corporation what was possible and and that that's just invaluable yeah don't, don't i mean afraid. definitely i mean we saw a lot covid force people to try a lot of new things right that would have probably taken years to try but you know we still talk to clients who can't get samples from their manufacturer or, yeah. or they're two months delayed. Um, and so, yeah, it's, you know, obviously the past couple of years have been tough on a lot of people, but it's, it has been great to at, le at least see like the tech adoption and innovation that, that has happened because of it. Um, no, and, and to your point of one day, you know, high poly will be usable. I mean, every, cell phone care keeps pushing 5g once 5g is actually everywhere we can have yeah. larger 3d models on your phone um and to your point you need to be thinking about investing in this 3d library and how valuable that library is so that five years from now you're not throwing out old low poly assets but you have the, the highest quality and all those levels of detail or lod's you know what we call used from the game engine world. Uh, yeah. So you can go everywhere with it. 